Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, thanks for coming to this thing that we um, actually titled in a really way weird way for saying, uh, let's be police of colors. <laughs> uh, this is actually not a, a presentation. It's a Trojan horse because I want something from you at the end, in the middle or just now. It depends on how fast you code and design. But first of all, it's lovely to have so many, so, so much space here. <laughs> but who is me? Who am I? Uh, you know, uh, Ruth said perfectly, <laughs> who am I? But remember always, the answer is 42, but sadly I forgot the question. <laughs> uh, you want to contact me? Just search <laughs> and you'll find me and the, probably the um, project uh, bunch of UB Port crazy members that we are. So please do. What? is the idea for the presentation. It's like, okay, uh, on, on UbiPorts, we really keep going with the, with the um, Ubuntu phone design and canonical guidelines. We're gonna go through them because they're funny <laughs> in, a, in a very lovely way. Uh, so I wanted to just explain one of the strong points that that the system has that is is beautiful, or it should be. Uh, <laughs> it's easy to use, or it should be, and is there like where it should be and not there when it shouldn't be. So let's see what happens. Let's just start by canonical a beginning. Uh, <laughs> I found those on the internet, so sorry for the for the quality. But I didn't sell those. Um, you know, these on those days, Canonical had the orange and brown and the colors we all love, and they were trying to do a very simple and usable uh, UI. So that works. It's, well, it's outdated now, eh, you know. This presentation is a bit itchy, like, ah, 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 ah. move, move, move things around. Uh, but this is the beginning, this is the main idea, this is uh, what we heritage it and we love as our old uncle. <laughs> uh, we actually do, or canonical did, one step forward. That is like major update. So let's make everything simple, not so heavy, flat, or oh, flattish icons. I'm a fan of even flatter, but you know, that's a discussion between designers like, flatter it, no, don't flatter it. But anyway, uh, you can see there's a like huge improve. Even the, the um, indicators, bar area, and the little UI, little, 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 little changes that makes everything that look uh, more lighter, more nicer, like everything is in its place, it's uh, where it should be, <laughs> you can disagree, but yeah, we're, we're a nice step forward. I was, I was starting using uh, Ubuntu phone in this area, so, I love him. I love him like a second uncle. <laughs> and we arrive, like quickly, we arrive to the current state. That is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion because he's my third uncle. So it's like, I love him. It's like, lock screen flat <laughs> with some information. Yeah. It's more like our, um, like, Icon image is the first thing you see when you when you unlock 
uh, an Ubuntu phone device, you are sure you are using an Ubuntu device. The uh, scopes that this is up scopes is a part of the of the system that oh sorry is dead. Just a second of silence, otherwise a minute it will be too long. But you know it's like little progress on the uh, icons. They yeah you know they keep being kind of flat. But we got rid of the background, so it's even lighter. It it actually. <laughs> Uh, fits with our background, so it's like uh, all the UI can be more responsive, more lighter, and should be invisible. What are our design philosophy? That's one of the main reasons we are here. Why? Why we are here? Why we are so picky about places and uh, icons and flat, not flat. This shadow shouldn't be there. Because we want, we really, really, really want to end up with a really elegant, minimalistic, and simple user interface. We are there. Okay, let's let's hope we are close at least. Uh, that main idea, it will uh, also go for the user experience. The user experience should always uh, use our hot areas like is you know if you have you been using unity 7 on the desktop you know it's like our hot areas are top bars and left so we are lefties and tops <laughs> that wasn't in the joke maybe uh, but we also we want to keep in mind that we want to be convergent so we want only one code only one ui that is the same or at least the closest we can to mobile, tablet, that, oh yeah, I, <laughs> I failed to hook the, the tablet to, <laughs> to the Beamer, I'm sorry. Uh, it's our fault. <laughs> our tablet is a bit diva, so it sometimes doesn't want to show up. Uh, <laughs> but we love it, we love them. Um, but mainly, as I was saying, the UI and the user experience should be the same, exactly the same, or really like mm, not uh, breaking the experience if you are on the phone, on a tablet, or on a desktop, because it should be exactly or nearly the same. So, uh, this is one of the show offs that. You know, our notification area should be really stylish and really simple. You should always know where where you are, when you are, <laughs> and what you are, um, what you want to do. So you can exactly. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> we have little things to sort out. As well, but you know, it's like this. And do you remember the previous, the first, the first designs of the dialer? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that got really uh, better and minimalistic really soon. So we are we are heritaging a lot of the canonical uh, design. Uh, uh, we are very lucky, but we want to you know keep pushing it. And as I said before. Our hot areas are top areas, so it feels at home. You've been using your computer, you have your notifications, you are on your phone, there are the notifications. So left hot areas with a main launcher and notification area, so it should be very simple, very straightforward. Once you are adapted to the system, it's like this. We love gestures. We did. I love gestures. So, for the ones that never used Ubuntu phone, who never used an Ubuntu phone, oh, I'm sorry for you, but. <laughs> 
once you switch, it's difficult to go back to another system because we have outside of the screen movement. So if you just swap from the outside, you get an old tap spread up view. That actually, if you connect a, a keyboard or a mouse or a pointer to your phone, well, a pointer no, but <laughs> a keyboard, you can actually alt tap to get the spread. So it's actually working as a computer, like it should be. <laughs> we love bottom edges. <laughs> Uh, they're really, really nice for uh, phones, but we have to remember that we are in a convergence system. So I know I'm, I'm now I'm not showing off. I'm bragging because that <laughs> app is made by myself. Is if you are into text adventure, old computer games. You'll know what that is and how difficult was the first step to uh, make that movement. But that's not the point today. The point today is like uh, a text adventure that has like a phone view with a swap down. You have like mainly actions. That's important for the game, but whatever. Uh, but when you use it on a tablet mode or even on the phone in landscape that you have like empty space, you should be able to see that in my theory, my design, my app. <laughs> but the idea is to adapt to wider screens and do it like a continuous flow so you shouldn't break your, your work. Oh. This is where color police comes in place. Our palette. We love our colors. We have a special color sense and uh, also heritage palette that has been growing a little bit. But I make sure that doesn't go funny, at least in the, in the main OS. You know, it's open source project so you can design your apps as you like but we would love the system and any contributions contributions that goes into the system and the core apps to follow our design lines because everything is going to be like cohesive and nice to look at <laughs> hopefully so what's about the palette and the colors and what do we do we have not a strict, but like reduced palette at the moment. But it has a like very clear meaning at the moment. We are thinking about like splitting a little bit with other meanings, but we want to be like really careful because it should be again like intuitive. You shouldn't have to buy a manual to use <laughs> our our apps and our system. Uh, we think the main action is important, so I will explain that later. And we'll see a little do's and don'ts. That is my favorite area. So this is basically our restricted palette. We love grayscale. We really do. We love cake and we love grayscale. Uh, that's Nearly our main color, beside white. But those are just for text. It should should we should keep like in mind that as we use the UI elements in those grayscales, they should be readable. So that's gonna be at the end of the explanation. But something we love to do is should be readable. So Keep in mind the low contrast and the minimum low con contrast for, especially for people that has a special needs visually. But in this area that is like the funnier part, you could tell it's like a semaphore kind of. So everything that is branded, we like to be, uh, orange, like Ubuntu orange. Danger. Yeah, okay. 
you decide. As simple as that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so basically, you can see, even if you cannot read the text, you mainly, without thinking too much, if you have a device of another person, my device. So careful. You don't want to do this. Or I'll get really mad because I need to call Beto some, from some time to time. So just cancel it. That is okay. It's okay. But what about this? Oh, I got into the open store. I'm bragging again. Uh, so I just installed the weird thing, but you know, should I go for the stable version? Yeah, probably you do. This is the main action we ask you to do, or probably we think is the main action you want to do, but you decide. So it's not a bad thing, not a good thing. You have to decide if you want to go stable or not. <laughs> Suddenly we arrive to the do's and don'ts. We are in the part of the don'ts. <laughs> we have been having this since the police got in action, like really hard action. This is the same uh, example as before. So you have my phone. You don't know what you did. And suddenly Barbara, blah, 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 see, no. Yes, no. What? So yes, it's, it's good, good to go. And you delete Barbara forever. No, no, why not? Why cancel it? No, 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 because it's so dangerous. Uh, yes to what? Are you sure you want to delete this contact? Uh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. We like really advocate for like really clear actions. And again, like only main action should be colored in the positive or negative action that will take place. So question, yeah, remove it. Should be clear that this is not a yes to some bad or good phrased question. Should be like a remove action and a cancel action. So this, please don't. <laughs> and the other one is, okay, it's not so bad. So it just, again, you're taking my phone, and you're doing something, but what, what I'm doing? So yeah, it's Ubuntu, just do it. Actually, it's not. It's, it's asking you for downloading a Fosdem. Well, yeah, we love Fosdem, but um, we actually don't put so much effort as Ubuntu and Ubitouch to make it downloaded. So, yeah, shouldn't be there. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Ah, icons. Who loves icons? <laughs> we keep the designs of Sam Hewitt that we love. It's basically nearly the whole icon set we saw before and that we use that has an interesting and short style of doing things. Because uh, we'll see, like, it's a very, yeah, secret base. Because not all of people knows that. So we'll, we'll get it shortly. It's kind of interesting, if it's not too long. And let's talk about proportions. Proportions. The proportions are important. Sorry again by the quality of that. <laughs> we say in in the wood maker we use silver spoons. Saying in your area of interest you're doing something really wrong. <laughs> like pixelated <laughs> in a presentation. <laughs> Design concepts, UI and your icons are pixelated. Sorry about that. <laughs> But the important point of this is um, our designer designed basically the main things of the of the icon set with 
letters. And those are special font letters. Those are Ubuntu font letters. <laughs> so he's using L's and N's and U's to make the actually this, uh, this is our current call icon. So it's like made by two ends, <laughs> which I, I think uh, uh, it's adorable. <laughs> I love it. This is actually our uh, message icon, and it's made by several uh, font types. So it's like, yeah, it's a very clever way of doing it, but also it's a clever way of keeping the proportions of the whole system, because everything has its natural feel. So we feel that this is ours. At the end, we feel that the whole icon is ours, and it's there for we to love it. Proportions, <laughs> proportions. This is our, I think, maybe an old dated version of the camera app icon, the main icon. And we follow several simple rules that are just keep the main theme of the icon just inside of these margins. This is open in the wild, so you can check them. So you can go with little stuff outside and, you know, like go a little bit crazy, but main the main topic of the icon should be there because we love to round corner our icons <laughs> for now if it, nothing changes. <laughs> so everything that goes out of the red lines will be gone. So we love space. We love space and we love like I can the empty kind of space and busy here. So it looks, we think we looks better in the whole system. So now the future, what do we do with ourselves and our future? This is where you come into place because I think that's the last thing I want to talk. That is we need to Go through the system because I show you all the shiny stuff. But if you, if you scratch a little bit, there's places where <laughs> our icons doesn't really fit in our, in our philosophy. So it's like, huh, so you're adv adv advocating for this style and these things, but your system doesn't follow the rules. So please let us know because they should. Or we should have a good excuse for the next time that somebody asks. But also, we love, like, pushing it forward. Because what about yellow? You don't use yellow. So we could have more meanings to the system if the purpose is good. But one of the main things that we are lack, we're lacking is accessibility. So for now, the grayscale that I was talking about before sometimes gives problems with especially people with low or special needs, uh, like sight needs. And that's not good because Ubuntu should be for everyone. But also we don't know, at least not now, uh, we don't know where we should go or what special needs are needed. So we need like high contrast, that's something we should polish a bit of. But also we are thinking about having a really basic theme that you could change all over the phone and have it, I don't know, black and white maybe. Or just bigger letters. That's going to be huge effort, but it's something we want to we want to do, especially because, as I said, Ubuntu should be for everyone. So uh, you should yeah, tweak it to your liking, but should be accessible. And this area is a very important area, and we are lacking on, on that. So we need 
we need your help. We need to know where we going forward. Because the system is very beautiful, but should be also accessible. So, that was my Trojan horse. Now you have a mission to have, to accomplish. That is, help us with some ideas, some sketches. I don't care if you sketch by hand and really awful, but I want to see those improvements. And obviously you can just ping me straight or just go wild and go, ah, I have a crazy idea. I want everything aubergine. Well, we had that. Uh, forget it. Uh, but we can discuss it. <laughs> so thank you. I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions... Yeah, we have time moment. for a couple of questions. Uh, before the questions, please do not forget the group photo, half past two. We will be meeting outside the building, uh, but please don't be late. Uh, yes, questions. One question over there. Ah, hopefully, because I, I didn't know if it was too good or too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, if somebody wants to help for the UX design team or something like that, is there a place where we can see? Because because you made some mentions about this future work, like accessibility sketches or you know new palette work, icon work, something like that. Is there a central place where people that are not technical? For example, like if there, there might be designers that are interested in this kind of stuff, right? But they don't necessarily know anything about jumping on on GitHub or maybe following through seventy five Telegram groups or this kind of thing. <laughs> Is there a central place where the sign centric community can go take a look at what's in store for the future, or maybe just you know get in touch, help, maybe see an ongoing spec for future design work or something like that? Mm -hmm. Thanks for asking that. Uh, we actually, <laughs> it's a very shame point of introduction because it's, it's here. <laughs> it's, in, it's in GitLab. So it's in our GitLab. It's GitLab UB ports and just go through the teams or ask someone like ping me the straight uh, link because I was doing a wiki with uh, all the scattered parts of the designs and ideas and everything. Put them together in a, in a wiki, but I wanted I, I I didn't want to push it to the to the official docs yet because it's like a bit ugly, <laughs> and uh, you know, UI human how do you say it um, um, human design guidelines. That's actually at that point like people should know that our guidelines are like huge, kind of. So there's more information and and more things uh, for you to. Untangle, but I put them in a wiki so we can work on them. And the the wiki is, is underneath under this GitLab repository, so you can push some issues, so file issues to this. And about the future plans, uh, this is special word I use that is future because we didn't really start. We we have tried to do our best to keep it compliant, but uh, we actually don't know the needs that should be this this new theme. I, I wanted to create this accessibility theme, but I it's, it's not done yet. That's why we need help. I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs> um, hello. Um, this is just a bit of input as a user. Um, so this is keeping me awake at night. Um, I find that most icons associated with communication apps are all in blue. <laughs> like Telegram, blue. Signal, blue. Browser, blue. Twitter, blue. Facebook, blue. So if anyone in the room is responsible for developing teleports, I want to say thank you, because 
you finally did something in orange, <laughs> and it looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, so thanks for the UV ports, and especially Florian that is working on the teleports. But the icon for the app uh, was voted. So we had several designs, and one won. And we were fighting about the colors. <laughs> and actually, it's the same feeling for me. All the colors are blue. So I did a black and white theme for me. And actually, all the icons were white. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's really true. So teleport needs another revision, maybe in one or two years. But yeah, it's, it's actually, it's orange. <laughs> because it's our tele telegram app. So thank you. I'll pass on the message. <laughs>